How often should you inspect and clean your air filter on your Sport Glide or Softail? Let's talk about it inside. Revelator Elf. Hello, welcome to Revelator Elf. Hope you're enjoying the channel and the series of videos. Please like, share, subscribe, leave loads of comments below. Check out the website revelatoralf.com and the links in the description below. So in this video, I'm talking about the air filter on your Harley Davidson motorcycle, on your soft L. For me, it's the Sport Glide. How often should you take off the cover, inspect the air filter, and give it a clean? Now, how many of you just wait until the bike gets serviced and let the guy who's servicing your bike, or girl who's servicing your bike, take care of all that? I'm probably the same. I'll probably just do it at service intervals. But actually, there's no reason why you just can't do this at any point. Just give it in, take the cover off, give it a little inspection, maybe clear out some debris that might be in there as well. Now, it really depends which soft tail you have, which air filter you have, uh, will determine what the process that you'll need to do. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to talk about the uh, round shape, which you'll find on the Sport Glide and stuff like that. Then I'll talk about the oval, which you'll find on the Fat Bob. Then I'll uh, talk about the uh, square one, which you find on the FXDR, something like that. Okay, let's talk about this first of all. Well, you're going to need, uh, first of all, with my handy toolkit, uh, you're going to need one of these uh, and also one of these little torx bits and this is a t27 for the outer screws here okay uh you can also need a bit of thread lock uh when you do it back up and you're gonna need a black box uh no you don't actually what you're gonna need what's inside the black box is a torque wrench you're gonna need one of these okay right so first of all let's uh, undo these now, what you need to do is just undo them counterclockwise. There we go. Now, you could use, you know, an electric drill, something like that. It's entirely up to you. It's no, no major drama. Now, I am a bit of a stickler when it comes to nuts and bolts. Now, what I tend to do is I actually place them on the floor in the pattern which I've taken them off. You can get a piece of card, right? And then just mark it out exactly and put it on the piece of card through little holes. But I just pop them on the floor like that and then I know exactly where they are. Now you could take them off in a star pattern. Taking it off isn't really the problem. It's actually doing it back up, tightening it back up. That's when I'll talk about doing it in a star pattern. There. So I've quickly just edited that for you, but it takes no time at all. Okay, literally just take the cover off. Gradually, not to drop anything. There we go. The first thing you want to do is basically just inspect the inside. See if there's any debris or any dust or anything like that. So I can see there's just a little bit of residue here, a little bit of residue there. All I'm going to do is give that a wipe down. Just give it a wipe over. So I'll pop that there for now. Next thing to do is have a look at the air filter housing itself. Is there any debris in there? Is there any debris on the underside here? Anything like that? Well, actually, there's nothing there on mine. Nothing at all. So, next thing to do is actually look at the air filter itself. Okay. Is there any debris surrounding that? No, it's fine. In my case. Now, obviously, you might have something that might have entered. So if you look here on the air filter housing, at the rear here, you can see there's a gap, okay? That lots a lot of the airflow through. Well, that actually can let in debris as well, and that debris can come around here. But if you look through there, there's nothing there, nothing there, nothing there. Right, now let's look behind the air filter. But that looks clean, let's look behind it. Right, so still with the same T27. And all we're doing, counterclockwise, 
just loosen these bolts up. So again, I'm gonna take one off and you can see there is a bit of thread lock on there already. So I'm just gonna place that one down on the ground. Same with this one. Place this down on the ground. In the pattern, I know what I've taken them off. Pop that down there. Now, as we take the air filter off, there is a little tubing on the, on the back. You just need to unclip it. There we go. Just need to unclip it. And you can see right here, that, that tubing goes into there. Give it a good inspection all the way around. Hold it up to the light. See if there's anything coming through there as well. Now this obviously is a paper filament inside there, but you can change these rotors. Obviously, if you're doing a stage upgrade, it may look slightly different as well. But I'm just having a look in there and seeing if there's any major discoloration, and there isn't. Now this bike has only got 5,000 miles on it, of course. So if you've got a, a you know, um, a bike with a lot more miles on it, then obviously there's going to have uh, more discoloration on there. You may even want to think about changing this up a little bit. But that looks like a relatively clean one. So have a look here. Let's just have a look on the inside. Just place that down there. And again, have a look on the inside. Okay, making sure there's nothing to want there. A little bit of debris at the bottom here, but that's about it. So all I'm gonna do is wipe that out and then put it all back together. Okay, so I've got a little rag here and all I'm going to do is just clean out the bottom, cover that up, give it a blow. Now there is a seal here. You can take this seal off just give that a bit of a clean as well. But you want to make sure that this seal goes on properly again. There we go. Pop that back on there like that. Make sure the seal is good all the way around. Next thing then is to get the air filter back on. Okay, so this is the air filter. So obviously now you need to just clip this back on here. And all I've done is actually just push the rubber hose back onto the fitting there. That's it, literally there. And also it's back in the housing. Probably not the best view there, I know, but it's basically just put the hose back on. Right, the next thing now, slot it back into the hole. There we go. And now we just pop the threads back on. Okay, so the, the long screws that actually hold the air filter on, interestingly, on the service manual, it doesn't say to apply a thread lock on there. But actually, do you know what? I would always apply it. It doesn't hurt it, really. And you've actually got to tighten this up to uh, 48 to 72 inch pounds, uh, inch pounds, not foot pounds, uh, which is 5.1 to 8.1 uh, Newton meters, which is actually here. Okay, so this is for the, uh, the air filter element, the paper element. So what I'm gonna do, apply a bit of thread lock and then just pop that in there. Right. Right, just a little dab, there we go, like that. And then pop this in the bottom one. All I'm doing, just gonna tighten it up, or loosely tighten it up. There we go. And the next one. And the next one. Okay, now we just need to torque it down. So I've set this to 7.5. Okay, so in the sort of mid-range. Done. Okay, now to uh, give the cover a little bit of a clean and then to pop that back on. I'm not using any cleaning chemicals here. It is literally just to give it a bit of a clean. Do you really need to do it? Well, you've got the seal there, so not really. I think if you're gonna inspect it and clean your filter, you might as well do it, you know what I mean? But you could eat your dinner off that. 
Actually, if you ever go camping, uh, take your air filter off and this makes a great soup bowl. Right, let's put this back on. Line this up, pop that on. Now, you want to put these uh, back on in a star pattern. So I would sort of start from the top, then go down, across, like that, like that. That's the way I would do it. It doesn't have to be any particular order, but just do it in a star pattern. Now, the actual uh, torque uh, for this, uh, again, is uh, 5.6, sorry, uh, it's 5.4 to 8.1 again. It's exactly the same torque setting as the internal ones, okay? This is for the five point. If you've got a single screw, it's actually at 5.6 to 7.3. But for the five screw setup on the uh, round uh, cover, it's uh, 5.4 to 8.1. So I'm just gonna keep it exactly the same, but I am gonna apply a little bit of uh, thread lock on there as well. So, so all I'm doing, literally, just going in a star pattern, I'm not tightening them up too much. There we go. Go to the next one, right at the bottom. Thread lock. There we go. And so this takes no time at all, really. And last, but by no means least, and there we go. A little bit of thread lock on there, into there. Right now to torque it down. Okay, so all we need to do now is tighten these up. Here, still with the same T27, just make sure that's torqued down properly. There we go, great. And then the last one here is actually a bit of a stretch, you might not be able to get it. So, what I would suggest get one of these little extenders, pop that in there into your bit holder, into there. There we go. Perfect. There we go, it's in place. Now, many of you might be wondering what's the purpose of this well the purpose is not really just to do a periodic inspection uh, in between service intervals to check your filter and the debris actually this is really to acknowledge when and where you are riding and what the environmental conditions are so let me give you an example here in the UK, if you uh, kind of ride through the countryside, at a particular time of the year, there can be a lot of debris in the air. When is that? That's at harvest time. So if like, all, all the farmers are out and they're combine harvesters and they're getting all the wheat and the straw and the barley or whatever it is, there's always lots of debris in the air. So at a particular time, let's say for a couple of weeks, there can be a lot of dust, a lot of uh, matter in the air floating around that can actually get into your air filter so you may f notice just a slight bit of uh, performance degradation basically because there's not enough air getting into it i would always say actually at those moments quickly whip off the air filter cover have a quick inspection blow it all out clean it all out as i've done uh, autumn is another time of year and this is what we're in right now leave lots of leaves flying around especially if it's on a dry day any leaves can get in there and then that can cause a few issues as well so again clear it all out so any time of the year that you're riding uh, and there's debris in the air let's say uh, dust bits of matter whatever it is that could get into the air filter that's when you need to clear it out give it a good clear out it only takes a few minutes and away you go um, Let's say uh, other times of the year, let's say you want to ride through the winter or through the spring, let's say any time of the year, uh, you know, always analyse the kind of weather in which you're riding and whether your air filter might be affected. Okay, so the next thing I want to talk about, this is obviously on the Sport Glide or the other soft tails that have got the round cover. I'm only talking about the stock bikes here, I'm not talking about any other air filter that you've put on with a stage upgrade here by the way but the principle will be the same okay so let's say if you have the oval uh air filter let's say you find on a fat bob as well so the actual cover uh is 5.7 to 6.8 newton meters or 50 to 60 inch pounds uh but the trim inserts there's little sort of square inserts and that's at 3 to 3.6 newton meters or 27 to 32 inch pounds 
Okay, for the square air filter type air filter, which you find on the FXR DRS, uh, off the top of my head, I don't think there's another one, but you'll have to let me know in the comments if I've got that wrong. Uh, but the actual cover, it's actually 5.4 to 8.1 newton meters, which is 48 to 72 pounds. So exactly the same as the um, the round cover. And for the uh, for the filter element itself, it's 5.4 to 8.1. So it's exactly the same as the uh, round one here. Uh, and that's 48 to 72 uh, inch pounds. Remember, it's inch pounds. So that's it. I mean, that's all you need to do really to inspect your air filter, give it a good clean, analyze the, the weather in which you're riding on or the environmental conditions which you're riding as well. Now, you could, if you wanted to, uh, actually go and uh, get a sock, what they call an air filter sock, for this. I wouldn't, I would never do that for this kind of air filter that's got a cover on it, because that's the whole point of having a cover. I would never do that. However, if you've got an exposed air filter, uh, you know, with a stage upgrade, then yes, I would, especially if you're riding with through the winter uh, or riding through at harvest time, let's say, when there's lots of debris in the air, or if you're riding in a very sandy area, lots of dust, dust in the air, that kind of thing. Get a sock for that. Uh, but otherwise, I wouldn't bother, certainly with anything like this. Anyway, I hope this helps. But say, all you need is a bit of thread lock, blue thread lock. Uh, I've got Loctite 243 here. This is not promoting a brand. This is all I've got. Uh, but any thread lock that you want. Uh, you're going to need a small scale uh, torque wrench here. 5 to 25, this one is. Uh, so you're going to need some uh, bit uh, carriers as well, or holders. And you're going to need a T27 uh, torque bolt, uh, torque uh, socket here uh, for to undo those as well. T27, so remember that one. Anyway, so I hope that helps. I'll say all oh, those are all the torque settings uh, for uh, the air filter. Uh, this is li literally just about expect inspecting it, taking off the cover, inspecting it, give it a good clean, and then putting it all back on, and then you'll be good to go. Anyway, I hope this helps. Please like, share, subscribe. Leave loads of comments below. Let me know what you think about this and about changing your air filter on a regular basis or inspecting it at least that's the most important thing uh, and uh, check out the website revelatoralf.com and all the links in the description below catch you again ta -da -da. Revelator Alf.